Hi guys, my name's Andrew Dwight. Uh, I run a, a, a design and, and building company in northwestern Sydney, Australia. I just thought I'd give you guys some quick examples of, of, of modelling, of the, what we do for homes, uh, and, uh, and how we show our clients what their homes are going to look like before we start. You know, we can show them colour of bricks, colour of roof, you know, where the pool's going to sit, how the shadows go. Uh, we can show them a whole heap of information that's very important because most clients don't understand a 2D drawing. Therefore, 3D modelling of drawing is a big benefit to articulate to the client how we actually go about building their home and what we do. Now that's great for the client. It's always been a, a big advantage um, to be able to get the client to understand what you're going to build. But for construction, it's a different story altogether. There's a lot more information that goes in and we need to speak to engineers or trust manufacturers about spans. You know, and then make taking the time out of your day to go and do that can be quite expensive and adds a lot of cost to the job. So ideally what we try and do is we try and design homes in a way that we can communicate models via email and and find out a little bit more about what's inside of them. So you know there's things like bathrooms and and um, toilets and all of those kind of things. Now wall hung toilets can be a bit of an issue sometimes. They stand off the ground, you need to know distances, you need to know pipe locations and you need to know stud locations and window locations so you can find out how everything fits together. That isn't as big a task as what you would think um, you know, basically these models here um, come from Ruby Sketch, which is an online library, so you don't have to go and do all the research about the model. You can say, okay, well, here's the toilet. We can move the toilet around, and you can see if I moved it over here and it doesn't line up with the system, we'd have a problem. Or if the system was moved over to here, we'd have to configure the studs in a way that it all fitted. If there was going to be a window over top of it, we would need to know that we'd get clearances. Now, doing all that kind of research is is a costly thing, and so. I created Ruby Sketch, and what we did, we drew manufacturers' products so that people can see, okay, how is it going to fit in the room? How's it going to work? And so that it doesn't take builders a whole heap of time to put them together. So you'll notice inside of these models here, they've also got information. So everything knows what it is. The walls know they're a wall. The sink knows it's a sink. You can find out where to buy them from. You know, there's a whole heap of information that's available um, that most people don't even understand is out there. You know, we spend a lot of time in development, developing software um, for our own business and we're shortly going to release software for builders so that they can draw these kind of things very quickly and easily. Um, and then they can show your clients as big advantages to show your client this kind of information but there's also bigger advantages for the cost of construction to have this type of model.